morning and yes it put down a lot of rain last night um, everywhere's wet but I think we might have to get some mowing done later today because um, we really need to get the grass off these fields that um, that we've got it on because there's a there's a horse festival thing horse festival it's not horse festival I'm thinking of harvest festival oh <laughs> horse in a horse riding event I don't know what you call them but basically that needs getting off and the grass needs to grow back a little bit so that they can have the little um, event so yeah we need to uh, it's not a little event it's an international one I think so in he's doing basically so I've opened up the shed but I'm getting straight off with the cattle. Get the daft fired up. And away we go. Let's get off. No Andy today. He's uh, happy birthday, Andy. 40 today. Not quite sure what he's doing. I think he's going out with the family somewhere. So um, that'll be nice for him. It's not like we're going to make it busy here. So get it while you can. I'm going to leave my dad and Connor doing a bit of feeding up. And I will get away with ease. If the gate will open in time. Well, I'm back in the yard. We've got clouds and a bit of blue sky. Mix is happening, I think. So now I've got back in the yard. We've just got a few of the pens to straw up. So we'll get them done. So it's getting everywhere strawed up now something quite interesting last night when I was looking at YouTube analytics. Now, we had a, a video the other day where I think the picture was the 210 and Big Bertha behind the full straw did really well and I thought, well, how's that happened? And I looked into it and we've got a lot of viewers from India, Nepal and Pakistan watching it. I'm like, what? So if you are viewing from over there and you come back, uh, one thanks for coming back. Um, there's a lot of English speaking over there, isn't there? But I, uh, yeah, yeah, it just really shocked me. Shocked me that we were getting so many views from over there. So maybe straw is popular and harvest in uh, those countries, which is brilliant. Diversifying the uh, subscriber list, absolute business. We're gonna have a look at this mill because it was running at dead, or we were having to run it dead steady yesterday because. It was putting whole grains through. Uh, it's got some muck in there that wants to come out before it gets started up. But um, we might just need to adjust the rollers, I think. We might just be running worn a little bit and need adjusting. Well, this is looking less and less likely that I'm going to be mowing any grass today. Um, he's chucking it down again. I mean, it's to be expected. It's, it's, it's what's happened all summer. Um, at least we can get this mill running something a bit like Hopefully, fingers crossed. It's absolutely destroying it now. I think we've just got it a bit too tight though. Yeah, you can do. Try it. Yeah, so I've just adjusted it. It will be doing now probably 10 plus ton an hour, which is what we want because yesterday it was doing probably less than five. So just a bit of setting up time and we're. Uh, we're well in front. It's after rats here. She's got about five little ones, so. more and more empty hopefully by the end of today this will be completely empty we can get it all sprayed up to kill the bugs and uh, totally ready for harvest I mean, we've got the other the other shed up at the other end of the yard is one that was ready but well, now we're gonna have two ready and we really will need the barley to come in so we can feed the cattle and it will I'm sure the weather's got to turn good in August it's got to just have my dinner Got the drone out, I think we're going to go and have a look at the maze that we've got over there and just check the wheat and see how 
laid that is after all this rain. Here we go, drum footage time. Hope you enjoyed that. See, we've got a um, fair bit of laid wheat, and maize is looking good. And then I just went and checked up on them to see what they're up to, cleaning the shed in. Uh, but I'm back out here now, giving my hand. Get this tipped in here and push this corn up. Right. So, of course, we're going to be hopefully doing some mowing in a bit, and I've not got the GPS set up on this. We give Matt a ring at Ripon Farm. Our friendly sales guy who knows how to set these up and um, see how we can set this offset mower system up on the GPS. So me and Ben are just getting rid of some wet bales. This is a top bale. It's had all the rain on it. People say, oh, why don't you use hay caps? Well, they don't work in stacks that are wide like that because the water runs down and in between the bales and you just get every single bale in the stack wet. All these um, stacks, he has the hay caps, they're all in ones, individuals, about six, seven high. So the water just runs off and down the, down the sides of the bales and away. Whereas with these, it'd be running into the stack itself and wouldn't be able to get away and dry off. So only way to really cover it is either one build a shed over it that's the best way or um sheet it but we aren't going to sheet it because it's fair dangerous like ben's having a go now at just putting this out it's not really the way i would have done it but that's the way he's giving it a go and i smashed it with the bottom tines ben ben use the bottom tines puts um, a bit of too much extra pressure on all these joints for pushing it with that. I'm going to be pushing it with the solid bit at the bottom. And you're not going to bend anything. Uh, they push it out a little bit and then the cows will do the rest. So we're biting the bullet. It's been dry for an hour. We're going to have to get this grass cut and I'm gonna head that way so I think this video might have got a bit long and um, we'll get the grass cutting in in a separate one 
So if you have liked today's video, please press the like button and um, subscribe if you've not already. And yeah, check out the next video. Business, thanks.